Well, we're the water skiing business. Uh, we we uh, came up with a brand new product, totally different. I mean, it's wild. And uh, but people were kind of afraid of it. So we went to champions, people that were really good at that type of, of water skiing. Mm -hmm. And we gave them the stuff. Yeah. And then they used it and they loved it. And then they started coming up with testimonials. Yeah. And we used that right away. You know, so a lot of help to say, look, if so and so says, you know, this is a great thing. So, yeah. it, so, so but it was expensive. Yeah, a lot of times when you do um, marketing, you, you actually are going to have to go out and something like guerrilla marketing, they're actually probably going to hire a marketing firm to do your marketing for you. You can do it yourself, but it's difficult unless you know people um, or you can find people to like use your product or, or talk about your product and things like that. You know, So so that's that's pretty interesting. Another thing is the social networks now. Um, we work with a company out of Tampa called Fousey. And they're a new kind of hybrid marketing software type company. Um, and uh, they're in our BizPark One program. And one of their customers is Under Armour. And one of the things that these guys do that's pretty cool is that they're able to figure out how many shirts or how many you know, pieces of sports gear from Under Armour are being sold per like on Facebook. So basically, they're gonna, they, they can identify that one person on Facebook had led to 240 sales and and um, and and so that they, they could see where um, where certain people were able to like a product in in Facebook it was able to drive a huge number of sales back to their own site so do they have agreements with Facebook to have access to the data they are a um, they're a, 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 a Facebook partner oh, okay. so they're yeah but but they don't get access to the personal data yeah, yeah. so they can't tell who that person was but they, that it's there. but they knew the person was there. And so I guess the trick is, if you can get these these deals in front of the person who has your power graph, and I don't know if you guys do anything with, have you ever seen a book called Link to the New Science of Networks? It's a book I highly recommend. It's it's kind of cool. Basically, it's called, it's called Link to the New Science of Networks. And basically, um, it, it talks about the idea of a power graph. And so, you know, where normally you look at something that's on a curve or that's the long tail or that kind of thing, the power graph is the idea that, you know, in any kind of population, there's going to be a person who pops out, like, by almost 40 to 50% more than anybody else. And so, when you look at a six degrees type situation, or yeah, exactly, yeah. So, if you look at a, a, a um, you know, in a, the, he looks at diseases, he looks at software, he looks at all kinds of... Um, of different, um, you know, causal relationships in these in, in these in, in this in this map that he does. But basically, the idea is that if if, if um, power graphs existed like in a normal population, you'd have like 14 feet people walk, walking around, 14 foot people walking around. Um, but these people exist in social networks. They're the most connected people in the social network. These people exist in disease networks. They're the they're the they're the, the kind of power graph that's you know connected to the diseases that you know are that's running rampant in some community or that kind of thing. If you can identify who that person is, you can reduce the amount of disease in that community by by identifying that particular person. So it's it's kind of worth taking a look at that book. I think it's a contact. They see that kind of stuff. That's why they do contact tracing in epidemics. Yeah, and that's that's I think that's what they use. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what they use. Have you seen the book then? No, but I will be. So I'm guessing Brian will hang for a few minutes, but uh, before he goes, please help me show him some appreciation.